at a high level, is there suggestions you can give on how to take good notes? Whether it's, we're talking about annotations or just for yourself to try to uh, put on paper ideas as you progress through the work in order to then like understand the work better. For me, I always try not to underestimate how much you can forget uh, within six months right. after you read something. Oh, I thought you were gonna say five minutes, but yeah, six <laughs> months is good. Yeah, or, or or even shorter. And so that's something that I always try to keep in mind. And uh, and it's and it's often, I mean, every once in a while, I'll, I'll read back a paper that I annotated on Fermat, and it's and uh, and I'll read through my own annotations, and it's uh, and I've completely forgotten what I had written, and uh, but it also. It, it also, it's interesting because in a way, after you just understood something, you're kind of the best possible teacher that can teach your future self. Uh, yeah. You know, after you've forgotten it, uh, you, you can, you're kind of your own best possible teacher at that moment. And so it's, it can be great to, to try to capture that. Uh, it's, it's, it's brilliant. You just made me kind of realize it's really nice to, to put yourself in the position of teaching an older version of yourself exactly. that returns to this paper, almost like thinking it literally. That's underexplored, but it's it's super powerful because you were the person that you can, like if you, if you look at the scale from like one, not knowing anything about the topic and 10, like you are the one that progressed from one to 10 and you know which steps you struggled with. So you are the really the best person to help yourself make that transition from one to 10. And, um, and a lot of the times, like, uh, and, and we don't, I, I really believe that the framework that we have to like ex expose our, ourselves to like be talking to like us when we were an expert, when we were taking that class and we knew everything about quantum mechanics. And then six months later, you don't remember half of the things. Like, how could we make it easier for like to have those conversations between you and your past self, past expert self? Um, I think there there might be, you know, it's an under underexplored idea. I think notes on paper are probably not the best way. I'm not sure if it's a combination of like video, audio, where it's like you have a guided framework that you follow to extract information from yourself so that you can later kind of revisit to make it easier to, to remember. But that's, I think it's, an interesting idea worth worth exploring that not I've I haven't seen a lot of people kind of trying to uh, distill that problem. Yeah, I'm creating the kind of tools. I find if I record, it sounds it sounds weird, but I'll take notes. But if I record audio, like um, like little clips of uh -huh. thoughts, like rants, that's really effective at capturing something that notes can't. Mm -hmm. Because when I replay them. For some reason, it loads my brain back into where I was when I was reading that in a way that notes don't. Mm -hmm. Like when I read notes, I'll often be like, "What? What? <laughs> what was I? What was I thinking there?" But when I listen to the audio, yeah, it brings you right back to that place. So there might, and maybe with video, with visual, that mm -hmm. might be even more powerful. I think so. Yeah, and and I think just the process of. You know, verbalizing it's, yes. it that that alone kind of makes you have to structure your thought and 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 put it in a way that somebody else could come and, and understand it. And and just the process of that is, is useful to to organize your thoughts and 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 um, yeah, just just that alone. Does the Fermat's Library Journal Club have a like a video component or no? We not not natively. We sometimes will include uh, videos, but it's always embedded. Do people like build videos on top of it to explain the paper? Because you're doing all the hard work of understanding deeply the paper. Not we haven't seen that happening too okay. much. But uh, we were we were actually playing around with the idea of creating some sort of podcast version where we try to distill the paper uh, on an audio format. That not maybe you that could have access. Tricky. To might be trickier, but you, there are definitely people that could be interested in the paper and that topic, but are not willing to read it, but they might listen to a 30 minute episode on that paper. Yes. You could reach more people and, and you might even bring the authors to the conversation, but it's tricky, and especially for like more technical papers. Yeah. We've, we've thought about that, doing that, but we haven't uh, like converged. I'm sure if you have any <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to take that as a, a, a small project to take one of your one of the formats, almost like half advertisement and half as a challenge for myself to take <laughs> take one of the annotated papers and like use it as a basis for creating a 
uh, quick video. Uh, I, I've i seen like, um, hopefully I'm saying the name correctly, but Machine Learning Street Talk. Mm. I think that's the name of the show The that I recommend highly. <laughs> that's the right name. <laughs> but uh, they, they do exactly that, which is multiple hour breakdown of a paper mm -hmm. with video component. Sometimes with authors, um, people love it. It's very effective. There's there's also I've seen I haven't seen the entire in its entirety, but I've seen like the the founder of comma.ai, mm -hmm. George. Yeah, George. I've seen him like just yeah. taking a paper and then uh, uh, you know distilling the paper uh, and and coding it coding it sometimes during ten hours. Yeah, and um, he was able to you know get a lot of people interested in in that and viewing him. Like, so I'm a huge fan of that. <laughs> Like uh, it's, George is a personality. I think a lot of people like listen to this podcast for the same reason. It's not necessarily the contents. It's they 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 like to listen to like a a, a silly R Russian who has a childlike brain and mumbles and all those like struggle with ideas, right? And George is a madman who people just enjoy. <laughs> like, how is he going to struggle in implementing this particular paper? How is he going to struggle with this idea? It's fun to watch, and that actually pulls you in. The personality is important there. Again. True, but there's there's you know I agree with you, but there also it's visible. Like it's the, there's an extraordinary ability that is there. Like is talented and you need to have, yes. there's a craft and this guy definitely has talent and he's doing something that is not easy. Yeah. And I think that also draws the attention of people. Oh yeah. And yeah. and, and like the, the other day we were actually, we ran into this YouTube channel of this guy that was restoring art, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah. And and um, it was basically just a, a video of him, like his, the production is really uh, like really well done. And it's just him taking really old, um, pieces of, of art like and then paintings and then restoring them but he's really good at that and he describes that process and it, that draws attention uh, draws the attention of people regardless yeah. of your craft be it like annotating a paper or like restoring craftsmanship a, yeah. excellence yeah like george is incredibly good at programming like quick like you know those uh competitive programmers like mm -hmm. top uh -huh. coder and all those kinds of stuff he has the same kind of element where the brain just jumps around really quickly and that's uh, yeah, j j just like and, with and art motivating. restoration, it's mo yeah, it's motivating. But but it, it, and you're right in in watching people who are good at what they do, it's motivating. Even if the thing you're trying to do is not what they're doing, it's just like contagious when exactly. they're really good at it. And the same kind of analysis with the paper, I think. So not just like the final result, but the process mm -hmm. yeah. of struggling with it. That's really interesting. Yeah, I think I mean I think Twitch proved that like yeah. you know that there's really a market for for that for watching people do things that they're really good at and uh, and you'll just watch it you will enjoy that 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 might even uh, spike your interest in that specific topic and yeah and people people will enjoy uh, watching sometimes hours on end of, of yeah great craftsmen.